Hi champions. Good evening. How are you all? Yes, the class has just started, Shruti. Hey Rudrakshi, Advika, Gungun, Shweta, Ayush, Advika, Sneha, Rohit. A very, very warm welcome, guys. Good evening, good evening. Smita, I am doing really well. How are you? So in every class you ask me, ma'am, do you remember me? Ma'am, do you remember me? Yes, definitely big yes because you people are so regular, so punctual. So yes, the answer is a big yes. Hey, namaste. Good evening, good evening all of you. Yeah, I can see again those remember me messages are coming up. Dev Priya, all right, noted. Namaste, guys. Good evening. Hi, hello. I can definitely see that. Yes, yes, I remember all of you. Hey, Ashika, Rohit, Bebhav. Kids learning mantra new knowledge. Hi. What's your real name? Pratibha, Samriddhi. Good evening. Hey, Sneha. Agrima. All right, Agrima Singh. Noted. So, what is this session all about? We already started with natural fibers, right? We have discussed what are natural fibers, what are synthetic fibers. Today, we will be talking about two very important synthetic fibers, rayon and nylon. All set? Are you ready to master this topic? A very important topic from the chapter, synthetic fibers and plastics. If yes, then quickly give me a good to go if you can see this. Chitrakshi, Meghna, Shweta, Ojal, Sneha, I am waiting for your thumbs up. If the PPT is working fine, you can hear me, see me. Good to go. Thank you for giving me a green signal. Awesome. All right. So, how many of you know about this app? Baiju is the learning app. Your one stop, actually, one stop source for everything, for all the great content. So, you will get so much over here. You will get unlimited practice, so many question papers, videos. You can clear your doubts. You can understand what's, you know, where are you lacking, what you need to work upon, everything. A lot of you are saying me over here. Great. So, if you've already downloaded the app, I'm sure you're exploring it and having a lot to learn. In case you've not, guys, go ahead, download this app and learn in the most innovative manner, actually. Good to know that, Ojal. Nice. Okay. I can see most of you have downloaded this app. What about the scholarship test? How many of you have already registered? Let's see. Let me see how many of you have already registered for Baiju scholarship test, which is actually for your grade as well, right? You're in grade 8, so starting from grade 4 to grade 10, applicable to all these classes for all the boards. Sarada has registered. Shruti, Abhirami. Great. Shweta, Rudrakshi. Pranati, a lot of you. Hey, Gungun, nice to know that. Great, Ojil. So, yes, you can get up to 100% scholarship and registration is for free. You can just pick up any Sunday that you like. Go ahead, give the scholarship test. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I know, I know. You people are already amazing. You receive scholarship. I think you deserve it. Great. All right. 
let's get started for today's class yashashvi is saying let's start all right he is super excited for the class same here all right pranjali noted now we give you a homework question and a lot of you actually posted loads and loads of thumbs up that yes we will be doing the homework question and today i noticed many many of you have actually done the homework so yes you people were actually promising and sticking to your promise which is the best part the question was which of the fibers is the strongest in case you could not answer in the chat box you can answer right here right now meanwhile what i'll do i'll let you know who all answered in the chat box in the comment section after the live session so which of the following fibers is the strongest was actually being answered by a lot of students so i really was smiling to see so many of you commenting the right answer starting from okay we have just just a minute yes the list is right there biswarupa suhani palak if i am taking your name and if you are present for the class i want you to post loads of smileys in the chat box because i am really happy that you actually you are sincere enough to post the answer to all the questions that we give you so yes loads of smileys loads of thumbs up if i am taking your name you can just flood the chat box with all positive emojis okay biswarupa suhani palak gungun bhavya dakshu mohammad anzar joydeep aisha agash kanan jyotsna kavyansh akita prakash akriti avya suresh aditi grisha वैभव चारवी स्नेहा कौशलेंद्र सोमित बिलवा सबिता तुलु सोनाली आयुष ऑल राइट द लिस्ट इज क्वाइट ह्यूज ग्रेट गुड टू सी दैट I think if I'm missing your name, maybe you know you posted the answer after I've made this list, or maybe you posted in the live chat. So it just got lost somewhere in the live chat. Nonetheless, you can let me know over here if you people have actually written the answer. I can see the answer from here. I can let you know if the answer is right or not. I see a lot of you over here. You people are voting for nylon. Hey, it's okay. The class has just started. Hey, Ishan. Ishanvi. A lot of you are voting for option C. Okay, let's see. We have cotton, wool, nylon, and jute. We have these four options with us, but we can actually put them in two different categories. We have nylon in one and cotton, wool, and jute. In the next one, right? So, nylon is a synthetic fiber. Cotton, wool, jute—these are natural fibers. And I know this, in a way, itself was self-explanatory for you to arrive at the correct answer. Yes, I can see most of you are saying nylon, synthetic. Yes. So there you go. Option C was the correct answer. Synthetic fibers are really strong, right? So nylon is the strongest. amongst the list of you know these four given to us hey sabita good to know that from you we will definitely talk about this as well hey narendra good to know that it's okay i'm acknowledging over here right now all right so let's see what are we going to cover today what important ncert topics are we going to cover today so we'll be talking about rayon nylon strength of fibers and of course another homework question will be there for you and i hope you all will attempt this homework question again like the last time like every time actually yes bebhav correct All right so let's quickly recall what are synthetic fibers Synthetic fibers are made by human beings right and that's why we call them as man made fibers I hope you all remember this they are known as man made 
fibers. So they are synthesized or produced in laboratories using various chemicals. Right. Now, some examples we have for you. Rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. So we have some examples of synthetic fibers. Yes, it is actually. Correct, I can see you mentioning acrylic, that's right. So, we will be picking up rayon to begin with, right. So, rayon is the first synthetic fiber that we will be talking about. All set, all ready, quick, quick thumbs up in the comment section and then we get started, we'll drive straight into the topic. We'll come to all of them, each one of them, don't worry. Great, I can see the thumbs up. So, let's begin. We have rayon with us. Now, do you see how these wood chips are getting converted to wood pulp and finally wood fiber? So, fibers obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp is basically resulting in rayon. So, wood pulp is actually dissolved in alkaline solution. So, you get a thick liquid after this and then when you pass it through tiny holes, in a way, you are doing some chemical treatment, as it mentions. Chemical treatment is being done, so they get hardened, right? And then these fibers are spun into yarn and woven into clothes. And there you go, that is how rayon is basically synthesized. But, I want you to focus on two things over here. I have underlined chemical treatment and wood pulp. So, we are saying chemical treatment is also being done and we are saying chemical treatment of wood pulp. So, natural source is also there and chemical treatment is also being done. What, what can you comment on this? What comes to your mind after reading this sentence? Let's see. Akshay, awesome. Akshay says it's semi-synthetic. Absolutely right. So, rayon actually is a semi-synthetic fiber. It's not fully synthetic. It's a semi-synthetic fiber made from polymer of cellulose. So, it's basically manufactured from naturally occurring polymers. So, remember, in case of rayon, we have a natural source. We have a natural source that is wood pulp. Yes? Alright. So, in case they ask you, is rayon fully synthetic? You know the answer now. If they ask you which is the first fully synthetic fiber, we'll come to that also. It is called a synthetic fiber, but it's not fully synthetic. It's a semi-synthetic fiber. By the way, rayon is also known as regenerated cellulose. Figure out why am I writing this? Why is it known as regenerated cellulose? Let's see how many of you are really curious to figure this out. Also, you will be amazed to know that it is also known as artificial silk. Let us discuss why is rayon basically known as artificial silk. Let me just ask you first, of course, I will be discussing this. What is your understanding of this? Why do you think it is known as artificial silk? Yeah, yeah, do not worry. I will definitely be discussing this. But I want to know from you. Hey, Gungun, correct. This is the reason leading to that, but yes, on the right track. Yes, Prakash. Good to know that you people are actually trying to understand why is it, you know, uh, called as artificial silk. Good, good. All your guesses are right actually. See, when we talk about silk, silk is obtained from silkworm. So, in a way, I can write that silkworm leading to silk. Right. Now, it is a natural fiber we all know, right. It is costly, it leads to animal cruelty, but, 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 it has beautiful texture. And this beautiful texture in a way fascinated everybody. So, attempts were being made to prepare artificial silk. There was a need to prepare an alternate for this. Why? Because see, as we discussed, silk is expensive, we would definitely want to have a cheaper version of it. Silk is in a way leading to animal cruelty, that is a big no, we do not want that. I remember in the last class, many of you said you people are animal lovers. So, got that. 
and of course if it is having a beautiful texture that everybody is very impressed with obviously we would, we would want to replicate it so there you go after a lot of hard work we finally obtained a fiber having properties similar to silk and ta -da! you know which fiber am i talking about it is rayon so first invented in 1846 as artificial silk but the first commercial production was basically being done in 1884 oh you feel that silk is very nice and beautiful okay great yes silk sari okay rayon i see i see two classes one of you one class is very much famous uh, like in favor of uh, rayon one is in very much favor of silk great yes pragya we'll come to that really really soon so rayon basically has really interesting properties right first of all it resembles silk in appearance we just discussed this in texture it's also shiny plus all the good things are there plus it's also cheaper that means it's not expensive it's better for us right and it's wrinkle free easy to maintain any time as compared to a natural fiber yes plus it can actually be dyed in a wide variety of colors so in a wide variety of colors we can dye it we can you can actually you know have a look over here and see the various colors are also visible hey anukriti yes we will be coming to that we will come to that definitely all right let's discuss some really important uses of rayon now it can be mixed with cotton to make bed sheets carpets textile tie cords all these are important uses of rayon if you've understood everything about rayon and if you remember everything about rayon i want a quick quick thumbs up in the comment section because then i have a question for you let me see how attentive were you during these 15 20 minutes of discussion i see a lot of you are very confident yeah all right all right i can see your confidence so i'll shoot the question and the question is which of the following is not true for rayon we've got 60 seconds your time starts now first of all note that it's saying not true okay so be very careful cheap fully synthetic wrinkle free lustrous so we want you to understand the concept right now in the class and there is no need to open the books you know for the same topic later master it during these 30 minutes only i can see most of you are voting for the same option till now i did not see any other option over there all of you are going and voting for the same option landing on the correct answer good but last 20 seconds are still left so let's see if i see any other option till now i am just i can just see one option i'm not revealing the option because i want others to try as well but what i can say oh i saw i saw pari is mentioning some other option varshini is also mentioning yes i i can see that now all right times up times up most of you have voted for option b but some of you went ahead with option d also so when we talk about rayon it resembles silk in appearance we know that in appearance in texture it shines so it's cheaper that was one of the option it's wrinkle free that was another option it shines it's lustrous that was the third option but there was another option which says it's fully synthetic but actually it is semi synthetic it's obtained from a natural source remember guys it was obtained from a natural source so this brings us to the answer that option b which says fully synthetic is not true if you've got this one right just flood the chat box with a lot of thumbs up and smileys and interesting emojis let's see and then on that note we'll begin with the next important fiber party faces balloons great laughing faces yes you can take a sigh of relief 
you have understood everything about rayon. Good to see that. Good to see that so many of you got the answer right. All right, moving on to nylon now. Let's talk about nylon. Now, nylon is completely man-made. Completely man-made. So, it's the first, this is a very, very important point. It's the first fully synthetic fiber. A lot of times this question is being asked and you people confuse this and you write rayon in place of nylon. So, that's why I'm just marking a star here. It's the first fully synthetic fiber. Now, in 1931, it was synthesized without using any raw material. So, when we talk about, you know, plants and animals, nothing was involved in this. So, in 1931, it was basically prepared from coal, water and air. So, not from plants, not from animals, not using any natural raw material. Yes, Ojal, absolutely right. You are absolutely correct. Now, let's talk about the properties of nylon. Oil. Nylon, first very important property, it's very strong. So, I want you to connect the property with the possible use. What do you think is this being used for? I'll ask you and I'll see how many of you are actually thinking also in between. It's strong and this, you can see this little video we've placed. Rock climbing ropes, all right. All right, great. What about this? It's also elastic. So, it's strong and then it's elastic. So, if it's elastic, we can use it to make socks, all right, all right. And then you must have observed this that, you know, it's very lightweight and seat belt also. We use the material that is nylon only. Yeah, correct. Yes, it's lustrous also. It has a shine plus it's easy to wash. And because of all these properties, it became very popular for making clothes and other items. Yeah, correct. See, it's so easy to understand the property and then connect the property with the use. And I can see some of you are also mentioning about other uses and we are going to come to that really soon. So, all the properties clear till here? Yes, Sonali, easy to wash. So, it's basically easy to wash, easy to maintain. Then of course, you know, somewhere these are the positive uh, properties it had and became really, really popular for it. Pragya is saying, yes ma'am, no doubt, let's continue. Hey Sonali, good to know that. Okay, Shruti is saying, I prefer cotton or rayon. All right. Depends on the item, which item are you using, right? What properties do you require in the final product that we are talking about? Good. All right. So, let's talk about the uses of nylon. I know you have already figured that out. But to specifically name some, we have ropes, we have tents, parachute. A lot of you, I saw you were writing about parachutes. So, yes, you people are absolutely right. It's being used to make parachutes as well. Toothbrush, again, I saw you write toothbrush as well. Yes, Meghna, the answer is right there. Sleeping bags, then what do we have? We have curtains and of course, we also saw socks. Yes? Correct, Sonali. Great. Pragya has just summarized all the properties together. Now, one interesting fact, which some of you are already mentioning over there, that is nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire, which means nylon wire can support a much heavier load as compared to a steel wire. 
just imagine how strong this fiber is. I, I can see some of you right that you know about this, you have read about this, some of you are reading it for the first time. Good. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I can definitely see that. Hey, Pari, good to know that. Okay, so I quickly, I'm going to ask you two things over here. I have two things with me and I'm going to ask you two things based on that. Okay, I'll show you these and you have to quickly tell me which is made up of rayon, which is made up of nylon. Simple, simple question. Okay, then we have another activity for you. So, let's see what do we have here. We have a toothbrush with us, right. What do you think? Is this made up of nylon? Is this made up of freon? And I have this cloth material over here and it's dyed in a beautiful color, I would say. So, these two, quickly, you have to let me know in the chat box. Let's start with the toothbrush. Let's see who's voting for nylon, who's voting for rayon. Toothbrush. And then whatever the majority is saying, we lock that. Okay, for toothbrush, ev for toothbrush everybody is voting for nylon. All right, correct. And for the cloth material that I have just shown, you are saying rayon. Great. Now it's time to actually compare the strength of various fibers and we have a, we have an amazing video. Let's understand what's happening and you can actually perform that and you know check for yourself what we are going to discuss. So, over here let's see what do we have. We have a wool thread and we have a cotton thread and we also have a nylon thread and we're going to compare which thread is going to be the strongest and for that let's tie and hang a bucket using a wool thread first okay then we are adding weights but hey it breaks at 2 kgs now let's do the same with the cotton thread and let's keep adding weight again how much do you think it can take hey it breaks at 3 kg right we're going to do the same with the nylon thread more or less what do you think it's going to take more or less it's already 3 kgs, putting some more, 4 kgs, 5 kgs and then it breaks at 5 kgs. Clearly, nylon could take more weight, right? It can actually hold the maximum weight and this tells us about the strength of this fiber. Yes? Correct! You were already making a guess about nylon. Good to know that. Amazing! I can see some of you are saying you have seen this which is really amazing. If you have not seen this you can always go watch this video. Quick quick thumbs up if you have watched this. If you have seen this, if you have learned from this video. Let us see. Nice. I am getting some thumbs up over there. I am getting loads of thumbs up now. Awesome. Good. All right. So now, as promised, I have another homework question for you, which is, which of the following statements is true? Four options are being given to you. Okay. First option, a nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire. Rayon is a natural fiber made from wood pulp. Cotton is not a polymer. Fabric made from polyester can get wrinkles easily. You have to figure out which statement is true and then you can post your answer in the comment section below after this live session. How many of you are going to do the homework? You people keep promising, yes, we will be doing. Let me see. Don't post the answers over here. I want all of you to try this. And yes, please come back and post the answer in the comment section because otherwise you ask me in the next class that we, we wrote the answer but it gets lost in this live chat. I keep telling you, hey, I saw somebody write that you are promising. Good, awesome. Then we will see who all have answered. We will discuss, we will appreciate their effort of course. Good, good to know that. Alright guys, 
If you found the session interesting, if you found it informative, quickly like this video and give me loads of thumbs up over here as well. Let's see how many of you are feeling confident about rayon and nylon. Yes, you will be given the session PDFs. Don't worry about this. Great, a lot of promises, a lot of thumbs up. All right, so yes, guys, we've got you covered. We keep telling you this because we really mean this. And we have this amazing Baiju's classes with two teacher advantage. So all the worksheets, class notes, so you'll get everything, right, through the app, through the Baiju's, the learning app. Then, of course, all the testing would be there, monthly tests, objective, subjective, everything would be there. Reporting, that means you'll get report cards as well. And... You will get the feedback through PTMs as well. So all these important features, these are the highlights and I am sure looking at these, I think it goes without saying that Baiju's classes with two teacher advantage is definitely something really amazing. Yes, for this, there is a trial class link that is absolutely free. Go and check this out in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel to keep learning. You know, the best way to learn is to look around and understand what is the science behind this, what's the chemistry behind this and that is our motive as well. So subscribe to the channel and hit this bell icon so that you do not miss any single notification from our end. Good. Good to know that. Great guys, so keep exploring the magic of chemistry and I will see you in the next session. Take care, bye-bye.